Are you sure it wasn't that beaver? Right. No, go on the right. Right side. Wait till he gets all the way out front. Hey, are you good on field? Yep. Yes! Oh, dude, I want to that. <laughs> Smoke! Smoke that kid! Shoot him, kid. Jack! Smoke that kid! <laughs> hey, Where you at, cop? Right there, Ryan. Right, shoot. Right in front. You want another one or is that good? Ah, no. That was the one I was waiting for. Come on, grab it. Dude, that is freaking awesome. That's not a, that's not a small one either. That's a good one, dude. Yeah, that's a great one. Son, that's way bigger. It got bigger as you want to know. Dude. My first spoon bill. We're live. Can you see me? My face look all right? Yeah. I don't look too weathered and worn. Oh, you're weathered, but yeah. it's okay. So I've never done this before, but I'm about to show you how to do it. So I'm not sure how that's going to turn out. All right, so they got this cord. I think it's called a noto cord that runs. It's basically their spinal cord that runs from the tail all the way up here in the head. What I'm going to do is you can feel it right here. I think I just cut down. Okay, you can hurt that break. All right. So I cut the cord up at the top side first. What we're gonna do here is score it around the tail. Make sure that you don't cut through the cord. What I've seen, now I've scored all the way around the tail. I think you just twist it. You want to break it then? You should be able to twist it out. Oh, there it comes. There it is. Apparently, I do know what I'm doing. So, we're about to pull this cord out. That is the right. freaking weirdest thing I've ever <laughs> seen, dude. What? This is like alien, dude. It's gonna come out and eat me. All right. So I do know we get this cord cut. That shit is like coming out from his nose. Boom. All right. That is strange off, dude. Okay, so we got this uh, cord out. Whatever this thing is. And basically what we can do from here is just stake the fish up. Um, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna gut it on this side so we don't get it all over JJ's boat. We're gonna let the guts fall here in the water. We'll start right there in its uh, excretion hole. We're gonna gut it. And supposedly, I've never ate caviar, but these spoonbill are known for having amazing caviar. Okay, don't see any Caviar. We're gonna do it and just gut it in. Dude, it is a strange. Like if you told me this was a, the inside of an alien, I'd be like, okay. They're here. <laughs> Joe Rogan was right, man. I am scared of cutting my finger off of this bubble blade. So we're gonna cut what? We're gonna cut these fins off? What's the reasoning you're defending? So we can cut even stakes out without having like, oh, this one has half a fin, this one doesn't, you know? Fins aren't as good to eat, right? No. I don't know, uh, what was it? I think it's the Japanese eat shark fin soup. Really? Yeah, they have illegal it. They illegaled it. <laughs> Made that word up too. Okay. All right, now that we got the fins off, honestly, I'm just winging it. What I would guess, you'd probably want to do them about two and a half inches or so.
They just kind of like got cartilage. It's not really like a. Mm. I don't think you eat them that way. Oh, look at JJ's. Decking. But, here we go. And, uh, what I would do is probably if I was going to try and get the skin off, I imagine with a really good fillet knife, this is going to be a little thick. That you should be able to run it like that like this and i don't know i've cleaned shark before and i've cleaned catfish this to me looks just like a shark but that is some funky looking meat in it you know what but i mean it's kind of white on the inside but that right there to me Almost, almost like, like, like amberjack. Yeah, that or like uh, those blue cats in South Louisiana. You know, really good and textured. Anyway, so swordfish. Yeah, could be. So what you can do all the way up to the school of this. I ain't been talking because I'm learning as I'm showing y'all how to do this. Um, what I would, what I'm probably gonna do is come up all the way to just right behind the gills where this plate is, and stake everything out from there. And then I'll just clean up the belly fat. Should leave me quite a bit of meat. 